Yeah, this is, this is a tough thing. Okay, so what we're referring to here first and foremost, so it's up 6-3. This is state quarterfinals. And my goal is obviously, obviously to be a state champ. You know, I want it to be the best in the state and everything. And I was up 6-3 with 26 seconds left in the match. I was winning, I was on top, and I got hit with my first stall call, my first warning in 26 seconds. I wanted to get hit, you know, first one's a warning, obviously, then one point, one point, and I got hit with the last stall call, two seconds left in the match. So I was I was up 6-5 with two seconds left in the match, still on top. Got hit with the last stall call, two seconds left, wanted to lose in the match, 7-6. So, you know, being up. All in 26 seconds. Yeah. So, you know, during that period of time, it was like, obviously, you feel cheap, you feel like you're robbed out of your dream right there. But in my mind, I always, I always had to, my purpose in my mind wasn't just, it was to be a state, it was to be a state champion, but it went a little bit beyond that. And I said, you know, I believe I'm the best wrestler in the state. And if you think about that state champ, best wrestler in the state, that might go a little bit beyond winning, maybe. But the way I looked at it in my head was that, you know, I can't control the referees. If I could come back and if I could take third, in my mind, I could believe that I'm still the best wrestler in the state. You know, so again, it's, I think it's the searching deep down and saying, what are you trying to accomplish? Like, you know, it's that, you know, what are you, why are you doing the sport and having that reason that's greater than reality? And I think for me to, you know, tell myself, believing that, you know, I was the best or that, or even maybe not even be the best, but that you're capable of beating anyone, right? Even if I don't beat everyone, but I want to prove to myself I'm capable of beating everyone. You know, that goes a little bit beyond the wins and losses. So, you know, we pulled it together, wanted to take a third. I got that kid for third. I wanted, I wanted to beat him. Uh, so, but it's just, it's just a matter of, you know, going back <coughs> to the reason why you're doing it. What are you, what are you trying to do with wrestling? It's got to be beyond, you know, the wins. And you can't let one loss cause another one. It's okay, it's okay if, you know, if you lose a match. You get beat, you get beat, you know. Um, looking back at my wrestling career, that's all I can do now is look back at my wrestling career, my brothers, and other people, you know, who've, who've had a wrestling career. It's not the losses people regret. That's what you think. You think you're going to go look back and regret the losses. Obviously, you always look back and think, I wish I would beat this kid. But that's not, that's not what eats at you. What eats at you is, I could have taken that shot, and I didn't. I lost to this kid, but the big thing, the big but right there is that I didn't throw my best stuff at them. All right? You'll get over the loss. You know, the, I'm, I'm past, the, I'm past the, the hole that I got banged with the stall calls and the, and the ref, I believe, took the match. That's not the issue. What I look back at that match and I think of was I was riding the kid with the legs the whole time, and then in the last 30 seconds of the match, I switched up my ride because I just wanted to hold him down instead of... I started going seeker on the kid. And, and because I changed my style, it makes it, because I made it important, I made it special. I said, these 26 seconds are special. So I changed my style. And because I changed my style, in that short period of time, I wound up losing. You know, so that's what I regret looking back. I should have got legs in and rode him like a cowboy like I was doing before. You know, that's what I thought. And that's what I look back now and say. So it's, it's your effort, it's your attitude that you're gonna look back and regret. You know, I packed it in, man, I could have, I could, have, I could have kept going, but because I lost this one match, I let the kid beat me again. It's okay if they beat you once, don't let someone beat you twice. That's ridiculous. You know, don't, don't ever give that up. Don't give that up. We all make a mistake at one point in time or another. It's not bad if you did it in the past. I've made a mistake in the past just because I came back that match. It doesn't mean there weren't other times in my wrestling career where I didn't let a guy beat me twice. Just starting right here today, don't do that. <laughs> starting here today, if you lose a match, you just keep moving forward. Don't let someone beat you twice. You can't, you can't drive a car if you're staring through the rear, rear view mirror the whole time, right? Do I look at it as the good Lord put eyes in front of your head, not the back, so you can see where you're going, not where you've been, right? Moving forward, moving forward. Don't, you know, don't look in the past. Can't drive a car staring through the rear view mirror.